Hey, we got a six point cage here for sale. 400 bucks. Four second. Four second. Uh, six point cage. <laughs> yes. Hey, Miles look, look at him showing off that watch. Talk about that watch. Where'd you get that watch at? Southern Diamond Company. Mm. He's wearing the hoodie. He's got that chain showing. Bro. Actually, I didn't get this chain from there, but. I'm yeah, your neck's turning green. green. <laughs> Trust me. I've had this on for like Yo, your 17 next, years. Your neck's used to it? Yeah. Is that <laughs> my neck won't change colors now. All right, guys. We are doing heavy stuff. Completely off topic. You guys missed a look at the oil pan. Scott, you, we can't show them now, so you just have to tell them what it looked like in there. It looked like some jewelry from Southern Diamond Company. Actually, we call it a crankshaft. That shit was if, nice. If you've ever seen one that had the REM polish, that one's got it. It was so shiny, you could see Chris Pittman's receding hairline in it, like, That's clear right. as day. <laughs> clear as day. Clear as day. That's all right. Mm. What do you, tell, tell them about that crank. Tell them it about it. Nice. It looked nice. It looked nice. Yeah? Look like a mirror, John smiling in it all day. It was John. Young people. Oh, I, I got my streamlight <laughs> wedge, so I was just like this the whole time. We took the pan off to put a couple things on there. Talked about in a previous video, we got this nice uh, Peterson oil filter housing with a System 1 oil filter that has a prime feature, so mm -hmm. we had to add a bung. Check out the welding here. This is by yours truly, Salty John Fab in the house. Not bad. Nice. Looks good on the parts you can see, Scott. <laughs> It looks great. It looks great. And it'll do and, and Scott said, hey, do you want to test it, see if it leaks? I said that shit ain't gonna leak. Ooh. So if it does oh, leak in the car, looks like I'll be pulling the pan out myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got that on. And then on this side, which Scott, I'm an idiot, but I got lucky. I forgot to check for header clearance. We put uh, it's on the welding table. Uh, this is a bung for a heating element. So <laughs> didn't think that one through, but got lucky. We we're just figuring that out live. Wow. What do you think about the welds? Looks great. Yeah. I'm just glad they don't leak. Like... Yeah, that's yeah. right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. The tire shakes they might. Hey, it, might be but... see, it might seep. I'm just saying, hear me. It's going yeah. to somewhere, right? Yeah, we'll put a belt. <laughs> Scott, tell them, while I look for this, tell them about the other upgrades that you did for the accessory drive and you put the push rods and tell them all about all that. We had a problem with push rods. They weren't exactly the right length, so we're working through that at the moment. They'll do, but they're not where they need to be. Uh, if you look up at the idler on it, we ended up with the wider belt on it solely based on blower spacing and the pulleys we had available so we had to change this pulley thank you rcd we had to change the uh idler adjustment arm also to a longer one okay, it looks a lot better i think it looks like it fits it's a lot stronger now uh devin vanderhoof will thank us tremendously because he can <laughs> actually get to the crank trigger now uh all in all nice. it's down to making some lines uh, putting the hat back on it and giving it to Devin and say, wire it up. When does it go? It's supposed to go Monday. That's probably going to slide up. Dude, I can't find the heating element. It's here. <laughs> Scott, I can't find it. It's here somewhere. We just had John had it, actual size. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are the chances that I didn't test fit, but it happened to be in the right spot? You just got real nervous. Well, right yeah, yeah, I was like, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's Logan's favorite thing, the pan heater. If you, if you need your oil bubbling like a cauldron, call Logan. He'll come up there three days in advance. <laughs> Plug your shit up, leave it a couple days. Preheated three days early, <laughs> baby. <laughs> hey, you gotta leave, you you go leave the shop at 1 a.m. and you're like, what's that noise? It's <laughs> actually the like one's cooking him. stew. Hey, it was at that moment <laughs> Logan realized, yeah, I did do that. <laughs> there wasn't an ounce of water left in it. No, no. 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 <laughs> Logan has no. called me many, many times. Hey, hey, like, hey turn the pan heater you off. leave the shop yet? And I'm like, I'm leaving right now. Uh, you go and plug the oil. Yeah, go back there and plug oh, that. We could just leave it right here and just instead of oh. ever having to unplug it, we could just plug the extension cord into it. Mm. But what do you think, oil pan heater guy? Mm. I like it. Mm. I got one. We need to cut this thing open. It's oh. Shit. oh, hold on. We're gonna do something. Here, hey, Scott. hey, we got some. Oh, here we got one right here. Heat it up, Scott. What? No, no, let me cut it with these. Cool. Dude, I don't know how bad this is gonna hurt. Watch it pop like I can see it. Damn. Damn, oh, I got Scott's blood. Oh, look at that. that was a perfect cut, wasn't it? Surgical. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No medical here. Well, that actually, there is medical here. You're looking at it. <laughs> True. That removes medical. stitches, too. True. Hey, you know what? That's got brake cleaner on. That mm. feels good, don't it? It's better than the military doc. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you don't need that. Just take it off. So it looks like Devin's going to have to put all of the O-rings in, all of the fittings, because Brown and Miller, I shouldn't say it's not their fault. I didn't know that when you order the O-ring fittings, you have to order the O-rings separate. Oh, sure. So I don't have any. I have a bunch. Actually, I ordered a bunch, but they're not going to be here in time, so I'm going to have to get them and send them to Devin. Um, so well, we can What put, we're going to have to do is, while he's wired, we're going to have to take, because Devin, he ain't going to want to do all this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I we're think. Gonna, we're going to have to drop down to South Carolina. <laughs> I would like to spend a day with Evan, actually. Mm. So it looks like that's, mm. a, that's a plan. I don't know. You say that. Last time I was there, he bought me lunch. Hey, actually, well, you bought lunch today. So he well, he wine and dined you is what he did. Yeah. Then he hit you with the bill. He hit you with the bill at the end of the day. Dude, it's still leaking. Dang, Scott, you leaking. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much better that feels, though. I got some Permatex. Oh, 28 over. days. Well, we've made great progress so far. I think that uh, we can set it down and put the hat on it. Do you want to run the valves? I would like to uh, make this line up to the pump and stuff. Harry forgot about that. Literally. <laughs> the whole reason we took it down. Oh, I understand. Rip King, check it in. I'm stacking water. On the sorry, a 90 on the filter housing for that um, the scavenge. Sorry. We want a 90. Yeah, we need a 90 for the filter here, and it come down to another 90 right here. Yeah. But what I'm saying, this top, this top one, they kind of stack like slightly offset. So I think I can run. I think I can run two 90s. Yeah, you could probably do a 90 out around this one and take this one straight down yeah. over here. Yeah. Is there enough room to get another 90 on there? Yeah, I believe there is. I need to get, uh, I just think 2 12 90s. I think it's, just, it's all 90s, honestly. So, so yeah, 4 12 and 90s. And then I got a 90. Actually, off this one here, you could probably do a 45 or even a straight. Because if you come from a 90 to here and come right down to a straight, it'll go right on. So, I was going to, I know you hate this, but I like to make it aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to put this line on here. And then I'm going to run this one down and across. Okay. So it's not going through no man's land. Like, my buddy from Florida, Chris Dillman, his car, he's got shit just like strewed across here. And it looks like a dumpster fire. Okay. And I can't have that. How you going to get, I mean, you got to feed this regulator here. Yeah, so I already got that one made. She get extra money for having to work with John. Yeah. I want to say that's uh, the end. That's the prime end. Well, it'd be the same. The feed is on the same side. Like, it feeds in the same way. I'm with you, but it should all right there on top say in and out. Well, it's got an arrow that goes this way, which makes me believe that it's like that. So the, the top line will go to this one, uh -huh. the bottom line. The one exiting the filter will go and to then, the bottom. So that, this is for the, the, I did some research. Oh, we're back. Crim King's back. Oh, we're back. Look at that. We're back. Pressure test. <laughs> All right, I need to get a uh, like, uh, hey, like a 300 psi right there. Like, yeah, you get a uh, silver sharpie or paint marker or something. Oh, yeah, that's a clean cut. That is a clean cut. Twelve. Okay. Yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to rage with all this shit piled up around here.
one. You'll zip tie it up to you zip tie it to there, and then it makes it look nice and neat. Yeah. So how's that looking for you? I'm, we're on the pan down here, so it's good. You got yeah. clearance for those two fittings right next to each other like that? Dude, does a damn fat baby fart? Does the Tin Man have a sheet metal penis? Does a rocking horse have a wooden cock? It looks awful tight. For what? These? No, no, no. Up there, um, up there by the actual housing. The upper housing. Like up there on the top, like when that These? when that fitting, yeah, when that line goes down, like that? yeah, is it like yeah. right there on it? Yeah. Is it? Shit's perfect. You got it marked? Not yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That shit's freaking nice. Damn, we didn't have any bigger zip ties. Oh, I mean, this is all we had? Yeah, I mean, Just there's some a couple there's some of white johnnies. Is all we had? There's some slightly larger white johnnies, and then there's some really big black ones. Oh, let me guess, you've seen the Drake video. No, I haven't actually. Why are you talking about a man's wiener? Oh, have yeah, you seen the Drake video? No! You, you, ha I don't Scott, know. you caught me off guard with that I steer comment. clear of those things. All right, let's set her down and just admire it. Let's all stand back with our hands on our hips and just admire it. The layout is style. It does look good, I mean, I'll give you that. We probably should have painted the bear, the bear spots before the clothes. I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> it's alright. I know Devin knows it'll work a rattle can. We got some Schaefer's 50 weight. We've been running 2050 and all the LS stuff. The 481X is going over to the straight 50 weight. The Hemi's going to the straight 50 weight. Scott, why run the straight 50 weight over the 2050? Uh, the biggest reason behind it is the sheer, the sheer strength on it when it gets up to temperature. The, the 50 weight will be way better as far as the shear strength goes. It keeps the, the supposedly, it should keep the bearings off the crankshaft. That, that's the issue. The, the issue is you've got to keep that hydrodynamic wedge going all the time so the bearings will actually touch the crank. I'm surprised they didn't want you to put 70 in this. But yeah, so Proline said they, they were 50, 50 weight and all that stuff. Enough. And that's what we're gonna throw in this. We're gonna throw this in Slick Rick. We might have to, like, is there, are there any signs that would show that we should probably step up to 70 weight? Not yet. If we run it? We'll go, what we'll do is we'll go run it, as long as we're not over aggressive on the timing, beating the bearings out. If the, if the bearings, you know, take a little bit of a beating, we'll step up to 70. We don't know what the bearing clearances are. Yeah. So it's, if it's set up to run 50 weight, mm -hmm. clearances are okay at 50, then we'll put 50 back in. If it's not, we'll pick it up a little bit. It's a mystery motor. Finger on the thing, pop. Yeah. There's a hell of a lot more oil on the pop side than the crazy that mount coming out of here. Look at that one. That one's just freaking We got bush. oils over there. Is it, is it coming up, going over top of the head yet? No, it's close. But it's not. Well, I feel like that little thing moves very little oil compared to Oh, hold on. It's, it's just dripping. It's coming off the rock wrong. 